the world's largest cruise ship set sail from Miami for its maiden voyage on Saturday. The 1,200 foot long and more than 250,000 ton Icon of the Seas has a capacity for 8,000 passengers across 20 decks. The luxury cruise ship is headed to the Caribbean for a seven night journey which costs nearly $3,000 US. Icon of the Seas is built to run on liquefied natural gas which burns cleaner than traditional marine fuel. However, environmental groups say methane leakage from the ship's engines is a risk to the climate. Using LNG is one way to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that their ships are emitting. But um, when you actually look at the Im- implications for the climate, it's actually a step in the wrong direction. LNG isn't a short-term or a long-term solution because the moment that you start using LNG as a marine fuel, including in cruise ships, you actually start to emit more greenhouse gas emissions than if you had done nothing and continued to run on the fuels that we're using today. Sustainability is an important part of our journey to a destination net zero in the future, and LNG is one part of that step forward on that journey. So while we are approaching new alternative fuel sources, LNG is one step of that, and we are working with the manufacturers to develop the technology going forward. So every step is one step closer to the ultimate goal of destination net zero in the future. When um, people criticize LNG as a marine fuel, they, 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 uh, many of the critics sort of suggest, um, perhaps a little bit disingenuously, that this is a sort of fatal flaw. Um, and uh, I think it's 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 uh, far from it. We we have to, you know, look at look at things in a little bit of context here. And certainly, when LNG fueled engines were first introduced, and these were the low pressure four strokes, which were the cruise sector uses, um, they were introduced to um, address um, uh, local emissions. Methane is coming under more scrutiny. Um, we had uh, the International Maritime Organization, uh, which regulate shipping around the world, uh, come together and over the summer announce their greenhouse gas reduction strategy. It does explicitly include reducing methane emissions, um, which is wonderful that we're naming it. And it kind of puts the brakes on all of these LNG build outs, you know, hopefully the icon of the sea will be one of the last LNG ships because methane fracking, these are not climate solutions.